Now, fail-safe system number one is the exponential moving average system. And uh, we want to uh, purchase a stock or a stock index when the 50-day exponential moving average crosses above the 100-day average. That's a buy signal. And you want to sell that stock or index when the 50-day exponential average crosses below the 100-day. Very simple system, but very effective. And you'll see in a minute here how this could have saved you from big losses in the bear market. And not only saved losses in the bear market, but as the market bottomed out in the spring of 2003, this exponential moving average system gave buy signals on almost all stocks and indexes near the bottom. And one other thing I wanted to mention here, uh, fail-safe investing principle number 12, uh, it takes a 100% gain to make up for a 50% loss. So the exponential moving average system, if it can save you from a big loss, it'll save you from having to make a 100% gain to make up for a 50% loss. That's a very important uh, concept. Uh, on average, stocks have appreciated about 11% over the past 75 years, 11% per year. Uh, and at that rate, it would take about seven years to recover from a 50% loss. So it's critical that you have a system that will get you out of the market before you incur a big loss. And it would take about 10 to 24 years uh, to recover from a 70% loss, which we just uh, incurred in uh, tech stocks. If the NASDAQ composite index uh, were to appreciate at a 15% annual rate, it would take about 10 years for the index to return to its previous high. And the fail-safe EMA system, uh, system number one, uh, issued a sell signal for the NASDAQ 100 index uh, on October 3rd, 2000. Uh, that's when the 50-day uh, exponential moving average crossed below the 100-day. And we have a chart of that, that sell signal. And you can see, uh, here's October of uh, 2000, and the, the thin line is the 50-day moving average. The thicker line is the 100-day moving average. Uh, you would have sold in October of 2000, and as you can see from this chart, you would have saved yourself from, from big losses in the uh, tech stocks. And this, this applies to all sectors and all indexes. And here's a uh, performance listing for uh, diversified mutual funds uh, from 1982 through year 2001. Uh, and this is based on the fail-safe EMA uh, moving average system. And uh, you can see there's uh, quite a few of the big uh, mutual funds listed here, American Century Ultra, Clipper Fund, Dodge and Cox. Cox, Stock Fund, Fidelity Growth, Fidelity Magellan, et cetera. And you can see that these results are based strictly on following a mechanical signal of buying when the 50-day moving average crosses above the 100-day and selling when the 50-day drops below the 100-day. And you can see uh, what, what I did is I, I computed the profit based on purchasing 100 shares of these mutual funds in 1982. And uh, uh, your uh, profit during that period would have been $68,000. Uh, and profit factor would be 27.3. So what this means is by following this system with these mutual funds, you would have had $27 of profit for each dollar of loss. That's a pretty good ratio and a pretty safe way to, to trade mutual funds. Uh, the initial, uh, initial cost of the 100 shares for each of these funds was $10,000. 
And again, the profit realized was 68,000, so you would have had a 680% return. Um, so that's a pretty good return for a simple system. Only takes a few minutes to calculate. Uh, there's not much time spent monitoring it. So uh, that's a pretty good return for, uh, for such a simple mechanical system. Uh, the average loss was only $76. Uh, percentage of wins was 66%. So that, that shows that uh, by using a simple mechanical system, you really can beat the markets. That's a very good return over that period. And uh, uh, there was also a few bear markets during this period, too. Keep that in mind. And then what I did is I selected some uh, stocks from various uh, industry groups. And uh, I did some calculations uh, using the fail-safe EMA system. And uh, there's quite a few stocks here. You can see uh, Abbott Labs, American Express, Omgen, uh, analog devices, applied materials. So there's a good cross-section of uh, stocks here. And And the uh, initial cost, if you purchased 100 shares in all these stocks, was $19,000. Uh, the profit on purchasing 100 shares was $163,000. Uh, that gives us an 844% return and a profit factor of 20.8. So uh, again, uh, the fail-safe EMA system, it works in mutual funds, it works in stocks. So it's universal in nature, uh, simple to, uh, to operate, and uh, produce, produces returns that far exceed uh, the average return on the S&P with far less risk. And this is, uh, I'm sure you've all heard of the Enron debacle. Uh, the EMA system uh, issued a sell signal on, e on Enron stock at 73.09. Of course, it, uh, it uh, basically crashed and went to zero. So uh, following that system again would have saved you from uh, big losses. Here's a uh, graph of uh, WorldCom. That's another stock that crashed. And again, uh, the fail-safe EMA system is issued a sell signal at 50.04. 50 and of course, that stock uh, continued to go down. And again, by monitoring the EMA system on any stock or index or mutual fund can save you from big losses. And here's another uh, performance uh, recap uh, using the fail-safe EMA system. And these are sector funds here. And you can see there's a, quite a variety of sector funds, biotechnology, brokerage investment, communications, computers, defense, et cetera. And again, uh, the fail-safe system, EMA system, uh, produced a 718% profit. Uh, your average losing trade was only $77 and had a profit factor of 19. So again, uh, the fail-safe EMA system uh, is profitable across broad sectors, uh, indexes, stocks, individual stocks, 